Hey everybody, this is Andrew from TS for Tech, and today I have some exciting cases to take a look at, some really cool cases from a company called Ghost Tech. And I would like to thank Ghost Tech for sending these over to the channel for an honest review and, and unboxing. Now, these are for the Samsung S20 Ultra. Uh, so these are for the S20 Ultra, and I've got four different cases from Ghost Tech, and we're gonna basically just unbox them, take a look at them, fit them on the phone, and, and just basically generally just get a feel for Ghost Tech and what their cases offer. Now, I've never owned any Ghost Tech cases before. I have used a bunch of other brands, as you know. I've unboxed a bunch of other sorts of cases on the channel for different phones, including the S20 Ultra. So, really excited to take a look at these because I've heard good things. So, the first case we're going to take a look at is something called the Atomic Slim 3. And this is basically... A, a shock absorbing case. I think all of these are advertised as military grade drop protection and all of that. Uh, it says here is 12 foot drop tested and it's a multi-layer case. Obviously wireless charging compatible, has a raised camera lip and an aluminum alloy frame, which is will be pretty cool to take a look at here. So if we just open this up, you just kind of magnet on the side there and then you just pull this guy out so in the box you get you know thanks thanks for your purchase some information on their social media you get a ghost tech logo sticker and then you have the case and already I feel that this is pretty nice feeling case so for this case in particular this is a black case so the outside frame of this case is a combination of like a TPU type rubber, as well as the aluminum. I don't know if this actually comes apart or not, but if you can see like, like this edge piece here is kind of like a TPU material, but this piece is aluminum. So all the way around there, it's a combination of aluminum and then, and then some like TPU type rubber material it's kind of hard to see since this is all black, but hopefully you get the idea. I don't know why this is not focusing. And the back is a hard material, kind of like a hard clear plastic. So metal buttons. And overall, like if I try to squeeze this, it's pretty, it's pretty stiff. So I like that. On the inside, you can see that there's some different color foam here, a little bit of like a reddish foam, sort of rubber foam material. And they have that in the corners. They have that kind of on the bottom and the top and a couple areas where the phone will touch the, um, the case. So we'll just go ahead and pop the S20 Ultra. I've got a dbrand skin on this. I don't think it should make a difference. So you basically just kind of pop it in there and looks to have pretty decent protection around the front of the glass. So the lips are raised on the top and bottom. The sides actually go a little bit higher than the glass. So it does extend upwards a little bit. So it gives you a little bit more protection on the front. The buttons work well. Camera, camera cutout is, is, uh, looks to be perfectly cut. Holes on the bottom, microphone on the top, they're all, yeah, this seems very well made. And then you can see basically through to the back of the phone. So here you can see I've got the D brand swarm skin on there, so you can see that through the glass or the plastic. A little bit of dust in there I gotta get out, but overall this is a pretty cool case. So definitely like this. This is the Atomic Slim. So the next, the next case that I'm going to take a look at is something called the Covert 4. And this is, so it has a clear back. This one has a kickstand and what they're calling diamond grip. So um, I guess probably just the way that it's cut on the edges or the inside. Yeah, yeah the edges. So if you look at this, now this is more of a traditional TPU style case. So it's very uh, flexible and pliable, the whole thing. 
and it's all clear. As you can see, like a frosted edge. So edge is frosted and the back is kind of more clear. Hopefully you can see that here. And then there is a built-in kickstand on the bottom. So like I said, this is like an aluminum kickstand here with a magnet type closure, which is nice. So definitely, yeah, and what they said diamond kind of grip, is, there's a little bit of, it's hard to really see here, I think, uh, pattern on the side at the bottom, which is kind of like diamond shaped, I guess, but it gives you a little bit more grip on that bottom edge of the phone. So if you're holding it in your hand, you should have you know a little extra grip. It's not just totally smooth and slippery. So have a very positive feel on the buttons here. Uh, they're very they're very raised um, from the case itself, so you can definitely feel those easily. Um, has a bit of a lip around the edge as well, like I mentioned with the other case. So you do get some raised edges on the front that should help. Again, if you're putting the phone flat on a flat surface. Camera cutouts are good. I do like on the back also it's raised a little bit. That kickstand will keep it from laying totally flat. So it will have a little bit of a, it will be sitting off the table a little bit on this back part because of that kickstand. But I don't, it's not generally a huge issue, but that's one thing to note there. It won't lay completely flat, but that also will give you a little bit of protection. So the camera module is not totally flat on the table either. There is a little bit of raised edges at the top. So this, even though this camera module is pretty flush with this back plastic rubber piece, uh, it won't touch the table or won't touch a flat surface because these edges are bumped up just a little bit. So I think that's pretty decent. Hole cutouts look good, top and bottom. You can see this red which is, I think, what they're calling their R2X impact technology, which basically means it's reinforced on the corners with an additional sort of rubber. As you can see, this red here, similar to that other case, the covert case, it did have that same sort of cushioning in the, in the impact points, I guess. So yeah, so if you're looking for a clear case, kind of like a frosted case, this one's definitely pretty nice. All right, so the next case here, the third case out of the four, is something that they're calling their Nautical Slim. Now this says it's IP68 waterproof. We'll see what that means. Now, so basically this is a, this is interesting. This case is like an actual waterproof case. I'm not sure I'm gonna totally try this on. Um, the phone, but because I don't want to, I don't want to really use the um, the front screen protector right now. But I'll I'll, I'll fit it in there. But I'm not going to take this piece off because I don't want to I don't want to ruin it actually. So basically, as you could imagine, then this is a waterproof case. So all the edges here are kind of like rubber gasketed. There's a foam gasket around part of the camera cut out there. The rest of the holes are covered with a plastic so it won't let water in. And then this whole thing also is a very gasketed and waterproof. It says, warning, make, please make sure there's no screen protector on your phone before you install this case. Now I do have the out of the box Samsung screen protector there. So again, not gonna fully install this today because I don't wanna have to take that off at the moment. Then you get a bunch of stuff in here. You get your wipes to clean the screen. You get some Looks like some dust, dust removers, another Ghost Tech logo. But we'll just put this on just to see. So basically the phone just kind of fits. Yes, yeah, so basically the phone just kind of pops into this case, the outer case, and then you just put out, you know, snap the back on. Yeah, and yeah, and you basically then end up with a pretty, th it adds a bit of thickness, but uh, adds basically total water protection if you'd like to have it on your phone. So then on the bottom, it will have kind of this rubber plug for the USB-C connector there you can pull out. I didn't even snap this all the way on because I don't want to break it trying to get it off. 
But yeah, so this is actually an interesting one. And I, you know, personally, you know, where I might think this would be useful is if I was on a boat <laughs> or I went to an amusement park and I was going to go on a bunch of water rides or something like that where I would think I'd really want to protect the phone. But this is an interesting case. So basically it has, like I said, combined screen protector and then all of it is waterproof. Even has basically a little uh, wrist strap that you can hook to the hook to the edge of the case right here and kind of carry it on your wrist. So this is a super protective case. Now the last case I'm going to take a look at is a basically a wallet type case. And this is called the Exec 4. And it is kind of a combination case and wallet. So as you can see, it's a typical standard case, kind of a plastic and TPU style case, but then it has an included, looks like a leather, kind of like a leather backed uh, card slot. So you can fit a couple cards in there. So the case itself is a fairly thin, but protective TPU style case. There's a two-tone color on this. It's kind of gray and black. And then it has the slot that you can slide this wallet into. And I guess if it was me, I probably, once it's in here, I really wouldn't be pulling it in and out because, no, actually it's, it's loosens up. I thought it was really stiff a second ago. So you just kind of can slide that in there and then you can use, you can put in up to four, four cards because this does expand. So this expands out as you put cards in there. You can carry your ID or you can carry your work badge maybe if you have a badge at work that you need to badge in or out or you might even be able to like wad up some cash and stick it in there with some cards so if you're really you know basically looking to have your phone with a couple couple identification cards or credit cards or a little bit of cash or something you can probably use this uh, and, it, and it seems like it would work really nice it looks like aluminum but it's plastic and there's a little bit of a suede type material here and then the actual kind of leather like material here so you can take this off and just carry this around in your pocket as well if you just wanted to have like a little portable wallet a slim fit wallet for your pocket you can definitely use this separate from the case itself so we'll slide this back in and it has a little bit of a retention clip here so it will stay and then the phone just kind of slips in like all the other ones. And then again, same sort of thing. This has pretty raised lip around the edge, uh, kind of protect the phone again from the glass laying flat. Now with this, if you have this on, um, you're going to be pretty well protected from the perspective of the camera module bump, because that's totally going to be not touching a table or touching any sort of thing when you're, you really lay it down. It'll hit the top corner before that. And then the wallet itself does not stick out a ton, but obviously it's gonna be a little bit raised because it's a wallet. <laughs> um, cutouts on the bottom look good. Microphone at the hole on the top looks good. Corners all have kind of a little bit of a raised uh, TPU material too, so keeps it from, if you drop it on a corner, definitely has a lot of protection there. So again, this is the detachable wallet version called the Exec 4. Very cool. So I'd like to thank Ghost Tech for sending these over to the channel. Definitely some very cool options here. I especially like the first couple that I looked at. I like the, the clear plastic one with the kickstand. That's pretty cool. And the one with the uh, metal aluminum frame was also nice. I like the wallet. I'll probably use this. Out of all of these, I may use the nautical one the least because I just don't have a need for a full waterproof case. But... Uh, Obviously, some of you out there might have uh, different needs. So if you have any questions, go ahead and post those below. I'll link to all of these in the description of the video. Please consider subscribing, giving this a thumbs up. This is Andrew from Tia's for Tech. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.